This is a short tutorial to show you how to create a Banksy type of look or a graffiti um, stencil look. So, of course, right now I have this picture of this awesome coach, Tom Osborne, coach in Nebraska for many years. So what you'll do is grab your image and we're going to work with a magic wand. Well, actually, when you have your image, I resized it, of course. Its resolution is 200 with this 10 inches. I'm going to create a new layer by hitting Control J. Then I'm going to use, select my magic wand and grab certain areas. Uh, you can grab as much as you want, as little as you want. And, you know, each image is different. So whatever you choose to make or to do, whatever picture you choose, and you're welcome to use one from the Internet. This is just a fun, quick lesson. So I wanted to be able to, I want people, if you know Tom Osborne, I want, I want someone to know right off the bat what this is. Um, if you don't know him, at least it'll look cool anyway. So anyway, I've grabbed this. Now I have my selection. Basically, I'm going to make a new layer and go to my paintbrush, select. You can select any of these that you want to try. Please go ahead and, you know, experiment. I'm going to just choose this, which is called a spatter 39. 39 is the size, so it's spatter. So I've just increased it, can increase it more. Hopefully this will give it a um, spray paint look. So there you go, I'm at 100%, 100% flow. This right here is set to enable airbrush capabilities. If you, the longer you hold the mouse down, theoretically, the darker it will get. Anyway, so I am going to, I'm on this layer too, the new layer that I made, and this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm spray painting inside the selected area. So there you go, I just spray painted in it. And another thing you might do before you're done, before you get rid of that selection that you just did, you might want to save the selection and just name it, I'm going to name it Tom1 and say OK. So that should go with this image down the road. So if I deselect this, deselect, it's gone. And I choose to, maybe I'm going to do the background a different color. So I'm going to do magic wand. Ah, I don't want that. I'm on that layer. There you go, layer one. I'm going to select the background, hold the shift key down, and just add to my selection here but I don't want to get any of my I've got some of the helmet I'm going to get rid of that get some more of this and I don't think I got his coat or did I? I don't know yes I did so I won't get any more of his coat so I have this just some odd stuff here I'm actually going to do the N as well I didn't have that last time. I left it blank. All right, so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to spray paint that a different color. I'm going to spray paint it red, of course, because Nebraska is all about the red. And I'm going to choose a different brush. Just use like a standard brush. I want it large, though, I can make it even larger with the shortcut. The bracket, close bracket, and I come in here, I'm on the right layer, and I'm just going to spray paint this, and it's only going to spray paint what I've selected. Once again, I'm going to save this selection as a background, save selection, background one, and say OK, and look at that, I have like a cool graffiti looking thing.